I decided to take a chance and try out a cheap desoldering station from Amazon. It turned out it's not at all what I expected it to be. I'm Eric, welcome to the Make Me Lab. If you're not familiar with a desoldering station, well, it's basically a soldering gun style device, but has an air pump built into it that sucks the solder up into a reservoir. It's basically just that simple. The tip heats up the solder till it's molten, you press the trigger and the pump actuates and sucks the solder out. And that's the idea anyway. The specs on this unit, pretty straightforward, 100 watts, 350 Celsius to 450 Celsius and a diaphragm style pump. The unit came packaged really well. The box was a little beat up, but that happens with these overseas units. The stand is actually super beefy. I kind of like to point this out. The stand is way better than the Hakko iron I've tested here in the past and a lot of soldering irons actually. This thing is a tank. <laughs> Check it out. There's a no way your gun's going to flop around. It has a nice little tray for, well, just for the sponge mainly. You're not going to be knocking any solder off because it should be in the reservoir. Comes with some basic instructions, also some spare filters and a cleaning tip. The thermostat to adjust the temperature is just an analog dial on the side. I like this. It's nice and simple. It's visible and truthfully, well, it's going to be set and forget. We're not going to need to adjust this long range. This unit feels really good in the hand. It actually is fairly well balanced. It feels nice to work with and I've been using it for almost a year now and I have to say I really like it. Now here's the gotchas. Um, this is my first test with this unit. This is lead free solder likely on this board. It's a chunk out of an old router. And I set it to 350 degrees thinking, well, this should be fine. You can see here, there's almost no reaction to the solder. And this continues as I do a few more tests on some different equipment. And well, it didn't work so well. This episode brought to you in part by PCBWay. Check them out at the link below for your next electronics project. They offer competitive rates for all PCBs, parts and assembly as well as 24-7 tracking of your order from start to finish. Same deal here, I've got it set up. You can see the light flashing as we're up to temp. There's no hysteresis on this temperature control, so I'm a little concerned that that's gonna be a problem later, but we'll find out. And on this board, this is a prototype of the rescue where I wanted to get this SD card reader back off of here. And same thing, I don't have a lot of love, of love for this at this point. It's a, it's a 6040 solder, leaded solder on here, and the gun doesn't do a real good job of cleaning it up. It pulls a little bit of it, but not all of it. This was some time later after I had basically figured this thing out. Turn the thermostat basically all the way up. Run this thing wide open. Now that I run it wide open like I do with my cheap soldering irons, uh, no issues. This pulls the solder out of there in a blink. You give it about two seconds to preheat the solder just long enough we don't want to hurt the board and then pull that trigger and out it comes clean every time even with leaded solder unleaded solder no problems
each and every time I've tried this on various different boards. It doesn't scorch the board because we're not holding the contact that long. You want to set the tip on, wait about two seconds, pull that trigger and out it comes every time. It's really a timing thing operating these more than the iron itself. It's it really is the user. If you start pulling the triggers too soon before everything is uh, liquefied, you, you won't succeed because there's not enough thermal mass there to transfer the heat all the way through and it'll suck the initially top layered melted stuff out but leave a whole bunch of contamination down through. But if you give it about two to three seconds and then pull the trigger, out it comes every time. It's just wonderful. I actually couldn't be happier with the performance of this now. Now that I've got sort of the hang of it to run it good and hot and wait a good couple seconds every time, it just works. The reservoir, I've had no issues with clogging of the filter or anything and I've run a lot of solder through it now. Uh, one of my subscribers actually gave me a tip that they had put some metal spring chunks in there to catch the solder. Uh, it will work just like uh, your tip cleaner in the background there. I have one of those brass ones. It would be the same and I thought about putting some of that material in too, but we'll see in a future video. Overall, this is a definite buy. Uh, I have no issues with this 993A. It just works. It hasn't let me down. The pump seems to be working just fine. Uh, it's a simple diaphragm pump if there's ever a problem well we can fix it for the price this is way way cheaper several hundred dollars cheaper than the name brand units and i have no concerns with it at this point i don't do that much desoldering but when i need it well it's here to help me out so check it out links below uh, might be something you might want for your workbench cheers guys good luck in all your projects <laughs>